trust no one, deceive everyone is the very apt catchphrase as real life terrorism takes center stage in your local movie theater. Hey everyone, I'm Adriana Costa with TV Guide Network's big movie premiere, Body of Lies. It's a big budget production about espionage, action, and high-tech surveillance. I'm coming to you from TV Guide's control room in Hollywood, where like the all-seeing CIA, we're keeping a very close eye on the movie's stars. From in-depth interviews with Leo DiCaprio and Russell Crowe, to the chemistry between them and fun stories from the set, we've got all the inside info on this film you will not want to miss. But first, let's quickly go to my pal Justin Guarini in New York City where all the preparations are underway for the movie's big world premiere. Justin, what do you have for us? Hi, Adriana. It is going to be a very exciting night here at the Time Warner Center's Jazz at Lincoln Theater in the heart of Manhattan. The posters are up, the red carpet is down, and fans have been lined up for hours waiting for a glimpse of who else? Leo and Russell. Both superstars are expected here tonight along with director Ridley Scott, the rest of the cast and crew, not to mention all kinds of celebrity guests. But before they get to the screening, They'll be walking right past me, and you know, I'll be getting up close and personal with them. So, I'll check in a little later. Adriana, back to you for now. Thanks, Justin. See you in just a bit. Now, director Ridley Scott's got some great inside stories about what went on during production. We'll tell you all about that later in the show, so stay tuned. But right now, let's take you inside the shadowy world of secret agents and terror suspects, where the lines between good and evil and right and wrong are constantly blurred. It's a story that'll keep you clinging to the edge of your seat. Take a look. You were going to blow this entire Amon operation. I'm just trying to back you up, buddy. It's a dangerous, dangerous world out there, you know? Russell Crowe and Leonardo DiCaprio. Can't get any more A-list than those two. The actors first teamed up 13 years ago in the movie, The Quick and the Dead, and now they're together again, this time playing CIA agents fighting terrorism. You didn't send a team, did you? Did you? Well, not since we've been talking to it's great for me to think in terms of, well, I want to see how, how he's gone, you know. A lot of big things have happened to Leo. I mean, he was in Titanic, for, for Lord's sake, you know. So he's had a lot of achievements and a lot of girlfriends. You know, ten years ago, I could have beat the crap out of you. Taking a shot when he had the chance, right? Yeah, I should have. Working with Russell Crowe as well, who, who I worked with a long time ago and who I also regard as one of the great actors of, of this time, too. The chemistry was evident, as we found out when we talked to the cast in L.A. They clearly got along, but to get into character took more work. Come out. Leo changed his hair and eye color and learned some Arabic, while Russell gained 30 pounds and spoke in a southern accent. I'm just going to get all frustrated here. The transformations were really the most amazing thing. And the accent. The accent was a joy as well, except I've probably listened to far too many uh, Bill Clinton talking books. The actors certainly did their homework, which for Leo meant doing his own stunts. With a budget of $150 million, the movie shot its high-octane action scenes in Morocco. And thanks to director Ridley Scott, all the physical scenes didn't seem as stressful. Think about now. I'll have two helicopters on standby just waiting to do a flyover and then just grab the walkie-talkie and two helicopters will come and there'll be 20 explosions in the background or whatever he wants at any given moment. It seems chaotic at the time, it really does, but it is highly controlled and highly thought out. The action sequences were intense. The mood on set was anything but, especially when Russell pulled pranks on Leo in the makeup trailer. And as I walked past him on the makeup chair, I'd sneeze and spray him in the back of the neck with the Evian water, you know? And for weeks, he thought this disgusting, pig of a man was putting his mucus on the back of his neck every week. Let me tell you, I saw it and it sent chills down my spine. Now, this movie, as we mentioned, reunites Leo and Russell after many, many years. It's based on a book by the same name and author David Ignatius spills plenty of dirt on these two superstars. Let's take you for a behind the scenes look at the vibe on set. You know, 10 years ago, I could have beat the crap out of you. Taking a shot when you had the chance. Thank you, Leo. <laughs> Welcome back. You to actually show. like each other. <laughs> you do. It may have been 13 years since they worked together on set, but by watching them, it seems not much has changed. We had a lot of conversations, and he was a young fella, and that friendship and connection is still alive. All you got to do is trust me. Let's just say, I mean, every every woman's dream to be on that side with all you hot boys, lots of testosterone. But what would oh, yeah. like with if you're a chubby chaser, you're gonna love it. <laughs> you tackled a very serious subject matter with terrorism. What was the mood like on set for you guys? Laugh a minute. 
the mood, the mood of, of the set. You know, they had a great shorthand from, from working together on so many films and really love their working relationship and are so highly efficient at what they do and, and, and trust each other's instincts. And it took a, an adjustment to just get to the pace of their their sort of work ethic. So that's it. Why don't we just rehearse the scene? Once I kind of embraced it and, and, and embraced the attitude they have about, you know, seriously going into work and getting a full day's work done and moving to the next location and, you know, uh, this sort of rapid fire pace that they had. It was exhilarating and it was, you know, an adrenaline filled experience. And though Leo was new to Ridley Scott's directing style, this is the fourth film that Russell's done with him. We share our work ethic and aesthetic and a sense of humor. And if you got those three things together, then being on a set together is easy. People make the assumption that we agree on everything. And that's, that's ridiculous. But over time, we've perfected the art of the world, this argument. And we enjoy the process of problem solving. And Leo was a great addition to that artistic process. He's so on it and so amusingly professional. It's fun. It's got to be fun, otherwise it's like hard work. Um, and I had a great time with both of them, honestly. It's just another day at work. I'll take a day at work with Leo DiCaprio anytime, anywhere. Okay, now back to business. The cast and crew got together once again for the movie's glittering premiere in New York City. Our Justin Guarini has all the details. Hey, Justin. Okay, Adriana, I am here with one of the stars of the movie, Leonardo DiCaprio. How are you? How you doing, buddy? Good, I'm doing very well. So, are you enjoying your night? First of all, is this not the most compact red carpet you've ever been on? It has to be one of the most condensed group of people in one press area I've ever seen in my life. So, why were you initially attracted to... It's it's not often in this industry where you're able to make a movie that is so topical and pertinent. I mean, we're talking about the war in the Middle East here, and and, and be able to do a film that actually is simultaneously entertaining and and and, and intense. I mean, you jump at opportunities like this. They don't come. They're few and far between. Uh, it actually does say something about the war on terror. It has an opinion, but we didn't bring our politics into it. I think it's a realistic, harsh view at the United States and its and its relationships worldwide, and specifically in the Middle East. How was it working with uh, Russell Crowe? Russell's one of the best actors of, of our time, and he he is, there's nothing you would want more in a professional relationship. He's, he has a great attitude about coming to set every day. He jokes around. Contrary to popular belief, the guy is a prankster and loves to, you know, loves to, you know, he's constantly yapping at the crew and, and everyone around him and and pulling practical jokes. So, he, but at the same time, he's you know he's so seriously committed to his character and what he does and making the movie better. It's the exact kind of relationship you'd want. Excellent. Thank you very much. Thank you. Have a great night. Okay. Too. Take care. Nice to meet you.